Wednesday's a big show coming up. We got Steve Quayle for two hours with a lot of new intel on the martial law police state and how they're using the flu hysteria as the cover for that. Got a, several medical doctors coming up this week to basically expose the same thing, dealing with these uh, engineered bioweapons. And we also um, have other guests coming on dealing with this birther issue that just gets bigger and bigger, the socialized health care, all of it. It is coming up today. I also want to talk to Joe, Marcus, Jay, and a few others that are patiently holding. The toll-free number to join us is 1-800-259-9231, 1-800-259-9231, and we will get you up and on the air today. Man, there's a lot of news here I want to get to. And none of it has to do with Michael Jackson was killed by a shot of powerful painkiller, Demerol, given by an aide as his personal medical doctor, Conrad Murphy, slept. I mean, this doesn't matter. Why is everybody talking about this? What matters is this. And people watching on PrisonPlanet.tv can see it. This is from ArmyNationalGuard.com internment specialists. So I'm going to get to this in a moment. But first off, you have this giant architecture of police state and FEMA camps and surveillance all being built over the years and the training of the police and the conditioning of the population and staging riots and provocateurs in Seattle in 99 and the army running the operation and the provocateurs and then putting thousands of peaceful demonstrators under FEMA control in a Sandpoint Naval Brig internment center and calling it a FEMA internment of political dissidents on the news. That's in my film, Police State 2, The Takeover. And... Thousands of drills, live action, taking over counties and city halls, taking over city governments, and the John Warner Defense Authorization Act setting up federal funding for martial law in the states and saying NORTHCOM's main job is, is to suppress state legislatures and governors who try to stand up to the Fed and the New World Order. And now, not just drills, but live action military police in Tennessee and California, Army, Marine Corps, searching citizens' cars, running checkpoints. Governors say no. The feds say we're going to do it anyways. Under Obama, this is all not just continuing, it's expanding. So it doesn't matter who's in office. These presidents are just puppets. You have a foreign offshore corporate takeover happening of every sovereign nation on earth right now. A global depression engineered to bring this crisis in. A global carbon tax to fund the new world government. The new world government openly a bank of the world to govern us. I mean, a direct world government owned by private interests we pay taxes to. It is happening. It's just mind-blowing. Out in the open. Being announced is a good thing on the news. Simultaneously, Department of Homeland Security reports saying you're a terrorist if you believe the Federal Reserve is bad, if you believe it's taking over, if you believe in a new world order, if you like Ron Paul, if you like Alex Jones, if you like our videos. We've got scores of these reports we've broken. You, the audience, has broken by getting it out and forcing it into mainstream media. Then we have the civilian inmate labor camp program. In fact, just to my... Guys running the live TV show and radio show right now. Here is video of the internment specialist over here getting their training and putting Americans in FEMA camps and enrolling and learning how to take people and put them into the camps and how to get their riot gear. I mean, this is just so disgusting, ladies and gentlemen. And they're actually recruiting illegal aliens. They have ads on there, too, that even if you don't speak English, you can come run the American prisons, and you can dress up in riot gear and SWAT team American citizens. And then whenever you hear about it on the news, they say, oh, it's for foreigners. But then when you read, Obama has said, oh, we're not going to have foreign camps. We're going to have camps in America that hold U.S. citizens and foreigners, and you're not going to have rights. And they're already beta testing at two supermax, one in Wyoming, one in Montana, with 
political dissidents in them. And so the Houston Chronicle and the New York Times all report in the last five years building these FEMA camps and taking old bases and turning them into camps. And we would see, going back more than ten years ago, taking old camps, refurbishing World War II camps, getting the power and water turned on. We'd have workers there come on and say, yeah, we're all compartmentalized, but you know they're taking the old 747 hangars out here at the base and turning them into camps. And we see the police arresting thousands of people in New York in 2004 who were peaceful, putting them in a FEMA brig. Pier 57, we see Austin has one out at the old airport. They're taking over the old mall and building one in some of the stores. I mean, all of this is really happening and going on. And they're converting large numbers of the regular Army and regular National Guard force to counterinsurgent, uh, to military police, and then having them go out and run checkpoints in America. So this is not for overseas. Yes, it has that dual use. Then you have the 3-1-E Infantry Resettlement Specialist, how to train to put Americans in FEMA camps for resettlement and re-education. You cannot make something of this magnitude up. And you can go to Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com to the story titled, Army National Guard Advertises for Internment Specialists. In fact... Guys, pull this article up. I want to show people watching on the Internet out there and those listening how you click and the first link is to the Army. And then you click, the next is to the Army and their civilian inmate labor camp program for the United States and U.S. citizens. That's this link right here. I mean, this is all at Army.mil. This is not our opinion. And then you click on the others and it's all CNN. And it's all other mainstream news sources. We bibliograph document everything we're saying. And, 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 and that Judas goat, you know, Glenn Beck can say none of this exists. I don't want to be Glenn Beck's enemy. But we sent him all this material. And, you know, you've asked where your sports stadiums are. We have the training videos. We, we have everything here. It's so unspeakable. And we have the infrastructure protection training videos they give InfraGuard people where they teach about the mass graves and the quarantines and the lockdowns of cities. And they've been doing this year after year. And right as all the infrastructure comes together, the cherry on top is actually doing it. Now, the question is, are they going to go ahead and implement this? I don't know. But... If they almost shut the whole country down over a couple flu deaths in the U.S., what are they going to do when tens of thousands die from the regular flu? It is going to, they're going to do a psyop and get away with anything and then have the military roll in and have some checkpoints and lock down a few towns and cities and lock down a bunch of airports. And then that will set the precedent. See, we locked everything down and not many people died and everybody took their shots, which no doubt will sterilize them. They've been caught doing it in the past and, it's in White House, you know, science is our textbook that he wrote, how to put it in the vaccines and how to, how to sterilize us and how to put it in the water. I mean, and how to use crises to get us to do it. I mean, you know, it's, we've written articles that have the bibliograph, what page it's on, where he says it. It's just unspeakably evil. You got to read it for yourself. So how do they have an anti-terror exercise that goes real world where they take over the society, but where everybody accepts it and it looks legitimate? Northcom. And they've now announced on CNN and Fox and everywhere else that, in fact, Google the Fox clip from last Friday, uh, headline, Army to Aid During Swine Flu. And they say, Northcom's new job is dealing with the American people in swine flu. Well, Northcom's entire job is spying on us, spying on Ron Paul, spying on tea parties. The Army, our Army for fighting foreign enemies... We told you with the secret documents, months later, confirmed, Baltimore Sun, Army spying on tea parties. In fact, show them that after. Army spying on tea parties. The, well, you've got all the videos saved in there on your screen. It was last Friday. It was something like Army to be involved, at, Army to help with flu outbreak. Point is, you've all seen the clips out there, ladies and gentlemen. The articles are up on InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. And uh, yeah, there it is. 
source, FBI spied on Tea Party protesters nationwide. And then if you scroll down in, into the article, this is some mirror side a fan has. Um, now, that's the Northeast Intelligence Report, but it was also in, in the Baltimore Sun. I remember seeing that. But regardless, pull up the other article. We, I, I, now I'm obsessed with this. It was last Friday. We, we played the clip here. And it was uh, Fox News was the headline, Army to be deployed during swine flu outbreak. That was it. 